For Headmaster Martin Henderson, it's parents who should be seen and not heard, at least not when they're using bad language. It's a playground, exactly that. You know, it's offensive and there's no way children should be party to hearing it. The idea for the profanity prohibition stemmed from complaints Mr Henderson recently received about the way some parents were speaking to each other and their children at the school gates. In response, the head teacher sent a strongly worded letter to mums and dads saying that in the future, adults who contravene his ban on swearing will be asked to stay away from the primary school. The local authority are supportive and would issue, at my request, what's called a 547 letter, and that would ban that parent from, stats, from the site so they have to remain on the street rather than being able to be part of the school community. The sanctity of little ears is an old-fashioned idea, but still one that many people think holds water. Kids pick it up, don't they? And then they start bringing it home, saying it to you, disrespectful to the parents, the grandparents, everything like that. So it basically starts at school. The children need a benchmark to work from. They need to, you know, to be set the example at home and follow it through at school. The head teacher says his intention is not to cause friction. He's just trying to introduce a bit of discretion into adult conversation. And at the centre of the new policy is the old-fashioned idea of not in front of the children. Georgia Calvin-Smith, Channel Today.